I want to like talk about how to build a subgroup. So how to build subgroups. So the idea is this, I mean, it's really a two step process. So the first step of the process is pick some elements and you can do this systematically or you can do it just kind of at random. You look at your group, right? Maybe your group is the integers. Now pick some elements. I'm gonna pick three, right? Maybe I'll just only pick one element. And then what you wanna do is start combining these elements with each other until you don't, you don't get anything new, right? So combine uh, elements until uh, you aren't getting anything new. And I should maybe put combine with like an asterisk there because I don't just mean like combine with the group operation. You're also gonna use the inverse too, right? So if I say, oh, let's say my group is Z, right? And let's say my element is three, right? That's the only element I'm picking. I might as well just pick an element. Now, I'm gonna combine three with itself and invert it until I stop getting anything, getting anything new. So I've got three. Now, I also have to always, always have the identity. So I'm gonna put the identity in there, right? But then what's the inverse of three? Negative three, right? Because our operation is addition. And then what's three plus three? six and so since a subgroup has to be closed we know that it has to include six and then what's three plus six nine and then can you see what's going on here we're just like gonna in this case it's gonna be an infinite subgroup right because you'll always get new things but there's a there's kind of a pattern here and then you could go backwards in this direction as well so that would be kind of a, an obvious subgroup of Z, right? And we've got a name for this. This is 3Z, which is a subgroup of Z.